Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744 Extra. And today, guys, we're breaking down. I'll give you guys my prediction of who's going to win this year's elect uh, this year's presidency. Who's going to win, guys? So let's break it all down. Let me give you guys my thoughts on the two candidates. Okay, very briefly, I did a video actually a few weeks ago where I actually went a bit more in depth so you guys can check it out. But let's give you the historical as historical the histor history behind it, like what's so significant. So from Kamala Harris, she's obviously going to try to become the first female president of the United States. That's never happened before. The only other person that tried to come close was the Hillary Clinton in 2016, but she failed. And then, it's, and then uh, Donald Trump is now trying to do an achievement that's only been done by one U.S. president in the past, which is to serve two non-consecutive terms, which was done by Grover Cleveland when he, when he, when he beat Benjamin Harrison and uh, then lost to Benjamin Harrison, and uh, then, you know, became president the second time, but non-consecutively. So, uh, very weird. He went up against the same person basically twice. Won one, lost one. Donald Trump will not be able to do that, though, because Joe Biden decided to not offer re-election. did actually offer re-election. That would have been very interesting. That would have been interesting. But, you know, that's a topic for another time. So, let's talk about who's going to win this. So, um, I'm not going to go ahead and give an explanation, guys. I mean, I think it's self-explanatory. Basically, uh, it's a winner-take-all system. You have to be 18+, plus. you know, all the simple jazz and all that good stuff. So, um, let's do this, guys. So, as you can see, we have seven states. And looking at the electoral college right here, so Georgia, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Michigan. These are, like, I would say the four significant states. And here's the theme, guys. If you've been following politics for long enough, guys, South is generally generally Republican. So I'm going to assume that follows true here, and I'm going to assume that Georgia and North Carolina is going to be both be red. Okay? And Arizona as well. So why is Arizona not working? There we go. Now it's 262. Everyone, you need 270. So Donald Trump needs one more state. Now for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, for the purposes of this one, I'm going to make it as dramatic as I can. So I think Pennsylvania will be uh, Democrat, and I think Michigan and Wisconsin. I think both of those will be Democrat because North North is generally more Democrat. Now it comes down to this. Oh wait, actually, I just realized it would be a tie here. Actually, no, actually, no, because wait, hold up. I think one of these states, because even though the North is generally Democrat, I think one of these states will be Republican, and I got a hunch. That Trump is going to win Pennsylvania. I got a hunch that Trump is going to win Pennsylvania. I think Michigan and Wisconsin will be Democrat, but I got I'm getting a hunch that De Trump will win Pennsylvania, and meaning that Nevada is going to be basically dead rubber. It's basically dead rubber because Donald Trump already meet the requirement of 281. So who would I think is going to win this year's election? I think Donald Trump is going to win it, and I'm mainly saying Donald Trump is going to win it because of the fact that we've had a cycle. It's been a rinse and repeat, you know. And uh, we just had come. Uh, we just had Joe Biden do presidency from 2020 to 2024, and I feel like America, most Americans, want to see a change, and I think they want to see a change of political party because I feel like most people are not really satisfied with what's going on under the the Biden administration with the whole war stuff. They're not really agreeing with that stuff, and I don't think the economy has been that great. And I feel like under Trump, the economy and um, obviously the global war stuff was different. You know. The only thing that's going against Trump is that he's just there's just so much hatred for Donald Trump for what he did for the Capitol Hill a few years ago for saying the election was rigged and all that. And I just think that Donald Trump will get revenge. I think Donald Trump will get, uh, get a vengeance, and I think he's going to win this year's election. But I'm telling you this right now, guys, this will be a close one. This will be a close one. I could genuinely see one state literally deciding this entire outcome. And as much as I'm saying, like, Georgia and North Carolina is going to be Republican, if Kamala Harris gets one in Georgia and North Carolina, then it might be over for Donald Trump. Because I think for Donald Trump to win this election, he has to win the South. He has to win the South. And I think the South is key. These three states in particular. Because I think Kamala Harris is pretty confident with the North. So whichever one can get something from the out of the ordinary, like if Donald Trump can win a North and Kamala Harris can win a South, that's going to be key to win this year's election. So, may the best person win. And like I said, guys, um, and obviously my state... Um, it's going to be Republican, so regardless of whoever I vote for, my state will always be Republican. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. And one last thing I want to keep a note here, guys. The most important thing, 
for you guys to discern who should win this election is by who's by the economy. The economy is the most significant factor in determining your vote. So I'm just letting you guys know the economy is the most significant thing you should be caring about because most of us aren't rich. Anyway, so hope you guys did enjoy. Remember guys to like and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I will be doing a poll on the community tab. And of course, I will be doing a result. I will be doing a video once it's official, the results. Peace out, guys.